Well, I decided that the DIY gimbal, which does work very well, uh, the only downside of it is it doesn't actually level very well, and you have to use some software to actually um, smooth it out. I decided to get a new brushless gimbal which was I think 30 quid now I have had lots of trouble with it with the software it wouldn't self level it wouldn't um, wouldn't work at all so I emailed the bloke and he sent me some uh, link to some software um, it's not the is it the Alex Moss um, controller it's actually a hacked version so you have to download the hacked um, the hacked firmware for it so anyway, it's, um, it now seems to be working. Uh, the final problem was the um, the pitch was upside down. You know, that took a long time to figure that out, and I found out that the um, the control board is actually mounted upside down, or it thinks it is anyway. So you just have to reverse the axis on that one. So what I'm going to do is mount it on the front. It's not going to hang below, so I've got to cut it at the top of the motor mount and actually have that piece mounted in where the servo is so we'll see how that goes well, I decided the first thing to do was take it uh, take the gimbal apart uh, because there was loose screws and it didn't seem very right to me but anyway after dismantling it the soldering on this thing is absolutely diabolical. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there it is. It looks like it's been put together in somebody's shed. I've made the roll uh, mount for the roll motor. So Basically, what I've done is taken the um, taken the frame, the uh, the motor frame off, chopped the top and the bottom flat, and then I've mounted it on some um, plywood with some uh, resin. So then I can put that on the front there. To give it some extra uh, extra strength. I've got the gimbal in and on, and I haven't tried it yet, believe it or not. So this is going to be the first one. Um, I've had to completely strip this thing down. I've had to do all the wiring again. It was absolutely terrible. So. Whoever assembled it wasn't paid enough, evidently. But it's all in there anyway. All I've got to do is put some uh, cable ties or zip ties on it. Now, as you saw on the previous video uh, or previous clip, I put a piece of um, plywood at the bottom here and also a piece of plywood at the top and sandwiched the, uh, the motor in. And that's basically how I've mounted it on the front. Um, there's also a piece of foam I've put between the uh, top plate and the plywood and also on the bottom just as a bit of dampening so hopefully it'll take out any vibrations or anything. So all the warrens there the charge is there for the uh, the GoPro and also the video out for the FPV now, the other thing I've done I've changed let's turn that off I've changed the backlight in the Tyrannus from the dazzling blue to orange which I find a lot better Anyway, I'm going to power it up. I'm going to try and power it up.
work work hey look at that Oh, it works. Quite amazed. Just a note as well, if you're going from uh, the NASA controller to controller gimbal for servos uh, to a brushless motor gimbal, um, when you plug the uh, pitch control into F1 on the NASA, make sure you set the gains back down to zero in the NASA assistant because what happens is as you uh, pitch the craft it goes up a lot it do, oh, sorry it doesn't level itself out it actually goes at a higher rate uh, it's purely because you've got your gains set differently so make sure you zero them 